All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Doctor Stone season three, episode nine. In the last episode, we made it back to the science, uh, well, the ship. Uh, we need we needing to get in the lab to make some stuff um, for Koiko. Uh, we find out that uh, Ginro is still on the ship, although he's not of much help. Then we actually find out Suike is also still on the ship. She got booted off, but then she managed to get back on it. Um, she's the SSR card we need in this play, and they're gonna, both of them hopefully, are gonna help us get what we need from the ship. Yeah, very excited for this episode, so as always guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. It's so weird how she can fit her whole body in that melon. She's so small. Oh, she put the camouflage over, nice. They have some faith in Ginro. Let's go. Beautiful science. I like the sound of that. This fucking guy. We have faith in you. Please. Special technique, not my problem. Wow. No, don't eat the goat. Is someone there? Oh, yeah. You were the only one that escaped. Well, it's nice of them that they have put all the uh, the rock bodies in one place and didn't just chuck them over into the sea. You're going to carry him? He must weigh a fucking ton. Oh, no. Oh, Suika. So good. Come on, Ginro, get the... Get the lab. You know what he would want you to do. God, being petrified is a wild sensation. Yes. Let's fucking go, Ginro. Get it done. <laughs> Crank that shit. Oh, she left it behind? She can't see about her. Oh, nice. Oh, Ginro's still here. Is Suika on it? Oh, she can't see. Help her. <laughs> Bro, this car's sick. Ah, let's go. <laughs> they think it's a beast. They don't think it's a car. Yeah. So we've got to make them think it's a beast. Wait, what? Flowers? You cheat the jasmine tea? What crazy shit are we about to cook up now from shells and flowers? How to make poop smell. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wow, this is the science I needed to know. <laughs> we don't need to acquire that. <laughs> Some smelly animal over here. Well, that was clutch in a weird way. At what point can we get to, like, modern day times and Suica can have laser eye surgery? Is he going to see, like, tire tracks or something? Yeah. Does he know what they are? There is the 100 tails. Blue Grotto. Never heard of it. This dude is fucking creepy. He's definitely evil as shit. <laughs> Wait, so this beauty thing isn't for... Like, the chief of this place, it's for Moz? Or what? Wait, what are we doing here? Are we using coconut honey? Make lipstick, perfume? Wow. By noon. <laughs> That's crazy voluminous hair. 
Oh yeah, sulfuric acid. Just put that in your hair, why not? Oh, shampoo, yeah. <laughs> wow, the science of her. <laughs> yeah, Soyuz. Yeah, we just lost him. Hey, that's better. Not quite as lion main. Is that? Oh, more makeup, foundation. Okay. The thing is, in anime, whenever they, like, put makeup on, you can never fucking tell, apart from, like, lipstick. Is she even gonna look any different, apart from her hair? She has no clue how to do this. There's no way. She's gonna look like ass. Yeah. That's fucking terrifying. <laughs> yeah. I like Harley Quinn. How does she know how to do makeup? Wow, you can actually tell she's got some sort of makeup on. Holy shit. Well done, anime. <laughs> Freaky ass. Oh, you're gonna put makeup on them? Okay. Wow. Yeah, again? Damn. <laughs> yeah, tall girls are fine. No. Thank you, Soyuz. What about Ginro then? <laughs> Are we gonna feminize this man? Oh, they've actually put Ginro out there? No way. Spot the main characters with the blonde hair. <laughs> His voice. Is there any way to pick up a woman? With one finger? Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, he doesn't give a fuck. Who cares? They said that before, they don't care if they're married. Nice, getting more allies. <laughs> Oscar worthy acting. Ginro and Koako gonna act like that? Oh god. The spry girl act, okay. What is with your face? Double pass. The cheeks, bro, holy shit. Oh, you don't touch her. Oh, please don't touch her. Koako, don't. Oh god. I get it, but don't. Bro was on that shit. There was a B? That, that dude's a problem. He knows. <laughs> Same. <laughs> That's one thing we got in, in common, bro. Are we going to fight between these two? That'd be nasty. Alright, last but not least, Gimro. Giving off the tomboy look here, not gonna lie, Gimro. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Well done, you played yourself. Okay, what are we making now? Is it the end of the episode? No way! Oh, so quick. Right, so that was Dr. Stone Season 3, Episode 9. Uh, another very good episode, funny. I can't believe they've actually dressed this this man Gimro up as a woman. I can't believe the dude fell for it. Like, yes, he gave off tomboyish vibes, but like, damn. I guess, I guess he does have a lot of feminine traits, so, you know. Um, but yeah, really good episode. Uh, Koako looks great. I'm glad the plan's working. This Moss, was, his, was that his name, Moss? This guy that looks like um, Sukasa 
definitely a problem. Strong as shit, for sure. If it's uh, Kaoko that's going to go up against him, which, I mean, we don't have any other fighters, it's going to have to be. Um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting fight, especially because we've got the other girl as well, who's strong as shit, um, who's one of the guards as well. But yeah, very good episode. I'm looking forward to seeing what's next now that they're kind of on their way to the palace. Um, hopefully we can steal whatever this petrification weapon is, uh, or at least learn how it's made or how they use it. Um, be very helpful, and then we can also get some more revival fluid, hopefully, eventually, and we can have the best of both, revival fluid and petrification. Um, if it's something that we can actually harness, I don't know. But yeah, overall, a very good episode, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.